Alrighty guys, so what's going on? Uh, doing a little video update for you guys. I know I haven't done them in a while, so uh, doing another little video update for you. Um, I did get four new African cichlids, and the red belly Paku guys is gone. Uh, the really big one, the little one I still have, but the really big one had to go. Uh, he was really beating up my Oscar really bad. Um, weird thing about it is uh, I actually took him out in a bucket, and as I was about to take him to get rid of him in a lake, uh, nearby, uh, hold on one second, just gonna turn on the TV. Um, I was looking to get rid of him in a lake nearby. There's like this local reservoir uh, that I was gonna take him down to that he wouldn't bother anything and that nobody would bother him. Um, but basically, I, I, my neighbor caught me on my way out the door and uh, asked me what was in the bucket, and I showed her what was in the bucket. And sure enough, she had a 2,000 gallon or a 3,000 gallon pond, a heated pond too. Um, in her backyard, and I didn't know that she had it. It's like really like hidden um, But she's got like a really really nice pond in her backyard And so I put him in there and he's been doing uh, pretty well over there She said and you know, I let her have her have him because he was beating up my Oscar um, But anyway getting into the new Africans I got uh, you can see one of them right here It is a regular yellow lab with a black stripe um, Then I have a Aratus uh, cichlid, he's right there. <laughs> um, there's also another big yellow lab. I don't know where he's hiding at. I think he just ran away somewhere. <laughs> He'll come out eventually. But, um, there's one really, really big yellow lab in here, and there's also another really big, I think it's actually this one right here, uh, red lab. Um, but I basically got four new African cichlids, and that's the update basically. Um, oh, there he is, right there. That's the really big yellow lab. And they're all, all kind of nice. They all get along with the Africans, and everything's been going good since I got rid of the Paku. <laughs> um, but the uh, the blue Kenyans, uh, six of those died when the big Paku was in here. Uh, I think the big Paku was eating them because <laughs> they were all missing heads or missing limbs and. All in all, it just wasn't a good uh, combination. Um, you can start to see Demon. Demon's actually getting her uh, fins back in now. She doesn't look so beat up and mangled as she used to when that thing was in here. Um, I did notice that the little baby Paku, though, is looking a little mangled, and I think it's just because Demon's getting revenge. Um, but it is what it is. Demon's my, my baby, so... Um, I just really wanted to show you guys this African because he's like... A really cool looking almost hybrid and uh, really really neat looking I really like the black fins on him and the black stripe that he's got but um anyway that's pretty much it for the fish tank I did a really large water change last week and the water is like almost crystal clear now um, I've been cleaning up the water you know I've been cleaning up the tank a little bit here or there I also redid this corner a little bit with the structuring of the wood um, redid that a little bit better and opened up more space in the middle here uh, for Demon to swim around in. I also took out the two white PVC pipes. Uh, they were working as an additional hide for for everybody, but the problem was is that they were taking up so much space that uh, you know there wasn't a lot of uh, little areas for baby fish to grow in. And I actually do have some baby uh, African cichlids growing right now. Uh, they are all on this side, and I think that's the father swimming over. Um, but it, he's been super aggressive trying to protect them. And, uh, there's a bunch of them all throughout that bottom of the log there. But, it's pretty neat. Um, over to Goliath. Goliath is doing really well. Uh, he actually just ate a small mouse this morning. Uh, I, I've been feeding him just about every five to six days. I've noticed that, like, every four days, he starts to get a little aggressive. Um, and not so much to the point of where he's going to try to bite me or anything like that, but to the point of where, uh, you know, you could tell that he's, like, seeking food. Um, so, you know, I basically fed him today. And you can see I also redid his little cage here. I'll back up real quick so I can show you everything. Um, I redid his cage. I made it look a little bit more rainforesty for him. Or attempted to. <laughs> um... Basically, I put backing on the, all three sides of the tank. I uh, redid his hide. I made it these three logs, or three uh, stones that I had. 
and basically threw in some uh, regular moss on top of it. And you can kind of sort of see it right here. Uh, threw in some moss. There's also moss inside his hide there. And uh, basically, he's happier than a pig and shit um, with it. Excuse me. Um, but he's been really, really happy. The only thing I really got to work on with him is getting the temperature right. I still haven't been able to get the temperature right in this tank, and it's been an ongoing problem. Uh, as you can see right now, it's at about 93.4 up top there. You can't really see it just because it's in the darkest corner possible, but it's about 93.4 in the hot spot, which is this area right here. Um, and then it's about 73.4 on his side. Actually, right underneath him uh, is where the thermometer is. So uh, he's hiding out in his cave right now, just chilling, basically digesting <laughs> uh, that mouse that I gave him. And I won't touch him until uh, probably tomorrow or the day after. Uh, but he usually hangs out in here all day long, and usually he's up in his little log over here, chilling right underneath the light. And then when he gets hot, he jumps out of the tree, jumps right into his water bowl, and then slithers off into his uh, little hide. Um, but he's a great little snake. I love him. Um, but yeah, uh, basically I found like a bunch of uh, dead fish over the past like week, like I said. Uh, there was mostly the Kenyes. Um, I did find, end up finding my Eclipse catfish. Uh, he actually ended up swimming up into one of these logs and uh, getting himself stuck. And he actually died. Uh, he was about probably about four or five inches when he died. Um, but like I said, he ended up swimming into one of these fake decorations and ended up dying from it. Which kind of sucked because I was really looking forward to him getting big. But... Um, I have a bigger catfish going to be coming in soon. Uh, I forget the name of it, but I know that this guy's going to be giving it to me for like 20 bucks. So on uh, Friday or Saturday, I'm going to go pick it up at, from his house. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have this really big catfish in here. And I don't, like I said, I don't know too much about it. Uh, he told me that it doesn't, it's not going to mess with my Africans or anything like that. Um, but that it's, you know, a really, really nice catfish. But uh, I'll update you guys more on that when I get it. But I just wanted to go over the tank, show you guys that everything's going very, very well. Um, going to be doing a filter media change, not this week, but the following week, possibly even the week after, uh, just because I have a really big expense coming up. Uh, i got to get my truck fixed, basically. and uh, But, you know, that's going to take like uh, two weeks worth of paycheck. In order for that to clear up, um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, like I said, everything though has been going very well. I'm really excited just because the water clarity is like near perfect. Um, let's see, end to end view. I mean, again, six foot tank. That's not bad. Uh, that's an end end view of the six foot tank. So really clear for <laughs> you know it not. Let me just clear off this a little real quick. Maybe that'll clear it up a little bit more. Yeah, see, so you can see almost all the way to the other end, which is really, really good, especially for a six foot tank. Um, but like I said, I'm really happy. The only thing I'm really kind of worried about is Demon looks like she took a chunk out of her head there. Um, it's not hole in the head disease. I've seen hole in the head. That's not it. But this, uh, this black girl is getting his uh, infection again and I don't know what the hell it is but it looks like he either burned himself on the on the demo or on the heater or scraped himself on a rock somewhere which again is a likelihood uh, just because he's always on that rock there um, but I really wish he would come up and so that you could see his belly and tell me what it is just because uh, again I've never had this on a pleco before so I don't know what it is but he seems to be unaffected by it so I'm um, not really going to treat anything for it. I'm just going to kind of let it ride out and see what happens. Um, and it's not affecting my bigger pleco, so I'm not too worried about it. But anyway, I'm going to end the video on that note, and I hope you guys enjoyed the update. Uh, I'll try to do another one later on in the week. Um, I didn't get a lot of response from anybody about me doing the uh, mini-series on uh, basically fish tank information. Um basically any type of information that I can give you guys on the, on the fish going from 
setting up to water changes to filter media to filters to food uh, I'll literally cover every little detail if you guys want me to but again I didn't really get a, a very big response on it I haven't really gotten any response on it um, since I posted it in the last video so I didn't go ahead and make it yet um, I did make a couple of the videos but I haven't really put them together yet just because again I didn't get any response um, if you guys hit me back with a response, tell me you guys want it, then I'll make it, but otherwise I'm not going to waste my time. Alright, uh, hit you guys up later. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and look forward to hearing from you.